Hey everyone, this is Stellar Steel, and today we're going to be stealing ourselves for something a bit interesting. I always seem to end start my videos off with that, but whatever. Uh, today we're going to be looking at capitalistic marketing. Yeah, I know, that's pretty strange. Of all things, I uh, randomly heard one of my streams, and apparently this happened like as soon as I was uh, one of my streams, uh, this was happening. But anyways, though, yeah, I did not expect this to happen. Let me get this bit into focus. Well, I guess it's actually pretty decent focus right there. Yeah, you're seeing this right. This is Shovel Knight at Arby's, and uh, it's a kid's meal with promotion for the game Shovel Knight. Now, if you haven't played Shovel Knight, it is a 8-bit retro-style platformer, which is meant to call back to games like, I don't know, Mario. I always thought that 8-bit games, I guess, are more mature, but this is something more so that teens would play or someone my age would pay, play, which I'm in my 20s, maybe even, you know, older would play. But I guess if you think about it, it can be marketed as a, something like similar to Mario. Like, I guess Shovel Knight is kind of like the next Mario, but it's based off like old retro games that, I don't know, I mean, I do know people that are really into retro stuff, but at the same time, I know people that are like in their teens or not even in their teens, which teens wouldn't even get a kid's meal to begin with, that uh, dislike retro games and they seem to hate on it. But, um... I find that interesting because how could you market this to kids? Uh, I don't know. It seems like something that something you know my age or somebody even older would enjoy. But um, keeping this bag, it also has like a little like ad here and it has like an ad. Uh, it says like we deliver. There's stuff talking about Arby's there. But yes, this is an Arby's kids meal. Who would have thought? You know they have Pokemon cards. I could see that that makes sense. But at uh, McDonald's. But um. Arby's is interesting, and uh, hopefully people don't scalp this. Who knows, though? And I got a maze here. And they're also, not just that, though, um, comes with launchers. This is the toy it comes with in the kid's meal. And it has a variety of different knights here. Can't really see them that well, but at the top, Shovel Knight. And there's Black Knight, or Dark Knight. Um, hopefully I'm saying that right. Uh, the Enchantress. There's Shield Knight, King Knight, Spectre Knight, and Supply Knight. Those are the most prominent characters in the game. And then the launcher I got was uh, they're actually calling this, instead of Plague Knight, calling it Doctor Knight, because, you know, the whole pandemic happening right now, and uh, they're trying to not make people freak out. But it comes with a code inside, and they're calling it a DLC code, I believe. Um, what the heck does it say? I don't think it actually says on here, but it comes with a DLC code inside, which I find interesting. I'm also going to keep this bag because... I'm probably not going to end up getting one of these because I'm pretty tight on money, but I'm probably not going to get another one of these just because, yeah, I'm tight on money, and I just figured I might as well just experience this. But it's funny because I got the one, too, where they, they call, uh, you know, calling him Dr. Knight instead of Plague Knight probably because of the whole Plague deal. And I'm, oh, it's, it's actually one of those, oh, it's actually one of those easy toys. I remember I always get these as a kid in kids' meals. It's actually one of those easy opening. Normally these are like a bitch to open up. But um, it, it comes with Get Your Code. Um... We can get your code. I don't see any code here. Flipping it over and... I don't see any code here. Each character unlocks a surprise. Oh, is it on the character? So this is supposed to be a launcher of some sort. I don't know how it works. Um, there's like the little bottle that Plague Knight throws in the game, which you can customize as well. Plague Knight's campaign, I know a lot of people don't really care for it as much. I didn't mind it, but I can't agree it's one of the more difficult campaigns. I'm not really sure how this works. Um, I think you gotta, hmm, oh, I see how it works now, you just pop that out, pop the disc out, put it in here, and I have, like, a launcher toy that's, like, based off of, um, like, the regular, like, regular show, but that didn't work. <laughs> uh, that's strange. You gotta, like put tension on it? That's weird. I'm not sure where the code is, which is very strange, I'll say, because it says flip over to find the code. Like, see, well, you can't really see because it's out of focus. I'm not going to bother focusing because it's kind of weird, but it says right here, get the code. And, uh, each character unlocks a surprise game code because it's not on the character from what I see. I don't see, oh, 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 go, okay, it's, that. that's probably the most disguise I've ever seen. It's inside. So, use this code to unlock special DLC. So, this code, I would imagine, that's currently renewable for the Switch or Steam version, so it doesn't work for PS4 or Xbox, which is interesting. Creating a profile into this code. So, this is actually a cheat code, from what I understand. This isn't DLC code, so I'm sure someone, you know, I guess I will focus this, just because if you would like to enter this code in for yourself, and I guess I will put it on screen, too. 
Uh, because this code anybody can redeem. It's not actually technically DLC from way, from way I understand. The way they're marketing this is, it is, but it really isn't. This is a cheat code in the game that anybody can put in. So I, it's not really downloadable content. I guess people could argue that cheat code is, but it's supposed to be something special, like make your game have like, you know, they're wearing like um, Arby's hats or have like an Arby's sandwich pet that flies with you in game. You know, kind of that weird stuff, which it's kind of strange seeing Shovel Knight being revived like in this sense. Like I know they're making spin-off games like Shovel Knight Dig and other kinds of stuff to expand the Shovel Knight franchise. And a Yacht Club just released uh, Cyber Shadow as a, or they just published that game. But they're they're expanding Shovel Knight in the oddest way with cheat codes in a uh, food manner, which... You know, I, I know, I could see games like, I guess, Genshin, like my friend said when I was talking about this, or Butterfingers with Final Fantasy. This is, has to be the oddest potion I've seen. Shovel Knight with Arby's. And I, I know I said I wouldn't focus, but I guess I am in this sense. But, uh, yeah, they got this launcher. I'm not really sure how it works. So, like, it's... Oh, here's the directions. Token transforms into Shovel Knight Diz Launcher. You're supposed to put pressure here, and then it launches. Okay. Yeah, it's something like that. I have this launcher that's from regular show. It's like Benson. And this one works a lot better, I'll say, because it has like a, a lot of tension there. It has like this... The Plague Knight one has a lot of, I guess, width to it. But this is interesting seeing Shovel Knight toys you can get from... Uh, like a restaurant like Arby's of all things. And uh, Arby's I always found strange having kids meals there. I honestly didn't even realize they had kids meals till like a handful of years ago. But um, I don't know, I never really saw them as a place to have kids meals, but hey, I, I'm not complaining. I think it's pretty unique seeing stuff like this. So I nearly drop it. Like I'm gonna keep that bag for sure. Cause that's like something for show and tell. Like I know I was probably thinking, oh, you're just having junk and stuff. I'm sure it's got a bit of food grease down there, but this is something that I'm not going to sell it, I just think it's really cool and a novelty item to have in my collection saying like, look, you know, Shovel Knight was at Arby's of all things. And I really like Shovel Knight. I have not beaten the King Knight campaign yet. Uh, I've beaten all of them. I really like Spectre Knight like most people like. I, there really isn't one I dislike. I would have to say the Shovel Knight main campaign is probably my second favorite. Plague Knight, I mean, King Knight, I don't really, I, I'm liking it. I'm liking the card game. It reminds me of something like, well, Bug Fables has a cool card game in it too, but I gotta say, this is really cool. I also show game footage on screen of what the cheat code does. So, you know, and you can you should be able to put it in your game too. Because uh, uh, it's a profile code, not like a code you put in like a, you know, virtual store and it gives you something. It's more so like a cheat code where anybody can put it in. So it really isn't DLC. But yeah, I'll go ahead and show you guys what the code does on screen with some game footage and commentary. All right, so I actually had to wait for this update to download or and also install in this case. So, uh, that's interesting. I, I was figuring they're going to have some sort of updates in the game's code because, you know, most people just data mine things nowadays. So, that's that's good on Yacht Club Games to figure that out. And I also realize, yeah, I don't have this game in a physical cartridge, so that's something I should probably get someday. And I will say, it's very odd um, doing a gameplay video without actually, like, saying, hey, everyone, it's Stellar Steel. But, you know, I guess I'll just say, hey, everyone, it's Stellar Steel. It's time to steal yourself for more Arby's content. <laughs> yeah, the best Let's Play ever, talking about Arby stuff. It'd be kind of cool to make a, a bonus episode on this. Uh, I did have a bonus episode, but it'd be kind of cool because I was thinking of t dabbling in bonus stuff uh, soon. I was thinking of also getting a um, physical copy of this game for the Switch because that tends to be the most complete. I have not touched this game since it updated for um, Shovel Knight Showdown and King of Cards, so I need to really get back to things. So, um, something I should do is go get the code. Man, so many profiles only have one more. Well, guess what? This is going to be the fun one then. So I'm not sure what campaign to choose. I guess I'll choose the basic one, see how that goes? Because it doesn't specify like what you should do differently, so... Uh, this code is kind of weird. It's kind of spelled like Arby's, but it has like an and sign in between, so... I guess they just do that to make sure it's not like copyright or anything, even though it technically is the game, but they have like their Arby's, you know, food and mascots and like a sprite and stuff like that. It really is something strange. You wonder if Arby's... Because they were, like, hinting around stuff online. So I, I think that Arby's honestly paid Yacht Club to do this. They're probably big fans of the game, which I'm really... I'm not complaining, but I just think, like... You know, it really isn't something marketable to kids of all things, but... And we're probably not going to see something like it again. Also, I just realized... I hope Discord notifications aren't going through. So I better put, uh... Myself, but do not disturb because I've probably heard up in the background. Anyways, though, this code, yes, is a cheat code. So the thing about cheat codes is once you activate these, you cannot receive 
achievements, or as they're called, feats in this game. I'm not sure what this cheat code does. Um, so just like I thought, yeah, there would be something on Reddit. They got all the codes. I'm not going to look at it, what it does until we figure it out. Pete's not active for this profile. Okay, and that's interesting. Um, I'll just register my name is just AA. So, or A, off. Uh, no body swap mode. Uh, there's like a pumpkin there, so I'm assuming that shows like its, its achievements. But, um, yeah, we'll choose this profile. So yeah, we're in Shuffle of Hope. Skip that. Skip this intro because you you know we're not actually gonna do that. So so um, I figured it's gonna be a little hard to figure out exactly what this cheat code does, but apparently it is um, food taunt. So holding down is how you taunt with shovel knight. So he's holding a I don't know what that is. Some kind of food from Arby's. Oh, different food now. I don't even know what what is it like a sand? That looks like some sort of like maybe a fry, but that looks a more like a sandwich interesting so the codes only activate certain things at a time I don't really see this as, like yeah cool I get to taunt with food that shouldn't really be something I, I would see you know it would disable your uh, achievements now there's a shake right there which I always love getting the RB shakes but that's all it does with that cheat code you get food taunts now the thing is though the reason why I'm saying it's not DLC codes and it's just cheat codes um, like I thought somebody on reddit made a complete list of all the stuff in fact there's actually a, a a cheat code that gives you all seven activated at the same time. I'll put that one on screen. I don't think that one's revealed. You just have to figure that out by yourself. It is A at R B Y K. Oh no, that's that's R B hat for King Knight. It is A at R B Y S. Um, put that on screen. That activates all the codes. So basically, what I'm seeing here, it gives a so there'll be burger beetles. So these beetles will be turned into burgers. Um, drink propeller rats. Shovel Knight and. Uh, Shield Knight replaced with Burger in text, plus more text changes. And then Shield Knight is replaced with Burgers in Dreams, that's very exclusive. Yeah, they're very exclusive taunts, like in this case, just like, I guess this one you would see a lot more, I mean not taunts, like, very exclusive changes some of these are, but I would rather you activate all of them at once because just having like a cheat code to do this and you lose the ability to get achievements and stuff, I would not recommend that, I would recommend activating all of them at once. I know it's meant to for fun, but like, oh man, I get to have little taunts, that's all this does. And changing the text, yeah, I guess that's more for humor, but eh. He's continuing. Uh, there's a Burger Fairy pet you can get as well, and there's and then health items that heal in game. So like this dragon over here that we would fight, um, it, it would drop like it's like a chicken or something. It would drop Arby's food, which I think is probably, in my opinion, has to be one of the better ones. But you know, probably people like pets as well, which I, I just think it's probably, I, I think it's probably one of the more funny ones, saying that you know you now eat Arby's food, fast food, when your doctor recommends you're only supposed to have fast food at least once every two weeks. So. Yay, we get to ruin our artery now. I guess our food isn't that bad compared to stuff like McDonald's. Okay, no, we're not going to get into that debate about whether what fast food chain isn't the best or whatever. But anyways, uh, finishing off, there's the Arby's King hat as well, as I said earlier. So you can get all of those. Um, which, if you think about it, um, all those, even though they all activate at once, some of those you can only do exclusive, like sh Shovel Knight's Catching Shield Knight. Um, that only works in sh uh, sh uh, Shovel Knight's campaign. So activate them all at once from Coin Up Once. King Knight's hat, that's only for, you know, King Knight. And then, uh, the, like, the burger pet, that works for everyone. Um, you know, like, the, the food items works for everyone, too. Like, in this case, this food item here would be, like, oh, the apple, I should say, would be, like, an RB shake or something. Burger beetles and propeller rats, those work for everyone, because you see those all in the game. Text changes, that should work for everyone, too. So, yeah, there's, like, two exclusive ones. And the, the taunts, I would imagine, work for everyone, too, so I'm curious. So, it's just really, it's just... It's promotional stuff in games. So you, you probably have to wonder because it is an indie game company. And they, they, I'm assuming Arby approach, Arby's approached Yacht Club Games because you know indie companies don't make the most money, but in this case, it's probably one of the more um, profitable indie companies. But yeah, I mean, I, I'm, I guess I'm all for these kind of curious stuff. I, I don't know how I feel about fast food in this game. I mean, it's not really, it's not like they're forcing it down your throat or anything. It's more so like it's cheat codes optional, so it's not like that it's in the game, like, when you play the, a normal game of Shovel Knight, you're just gonna see, like, oh, buy Arby's food, or, you know, it's, I, I don't really have a problem with something like this, I think it's kind of funny, if anything, like, look at that, that's, mm, I, I'm taking a screenshot of that, I'm, I'm, I'm getting hungry for some Arby's fries, I'm just saying, it's freaking 2 a.m. now, I'm recording this, but, I was gonna record this in the morning, but, I don't know, but this, this could certainly be a, um, extra bonus episode I do in my channel, so, That'll be... 
I, I think this will be something cool to do on my, my main channel. But, you know, I hope you guys enjoyed this little showcase and all this stuff of just, you know, what exactly the Arby's food does in-game. Uh, it certainly is pretty cool. I mean, we're seeing a lot of promotional items. Like, I guess it makes sense Pokemon cards, but I always like little toys and, and Happy Meals and stuff. But this right here is really freaking cool, I'll say. Um, other than that, though, well, uh, I hope you guys have a good rest of your day or whatever. Um, and... Uh, remember, Arby's, they have the meat. I'm trying to, that really isn't a good way to end the episode off, so. Uh, also, these work in the Switch and, and Steam versions. Not the PS4 or Xbox One or Vita, which is interesting. Only the Switch and Steam versions. Um, ne neither the 3DS as well, which is very interesting, I'll say. Um, I forgot that actually the King Knight campaign works on 3DS. I, I really should, probably should play that on 3DS rather than Switch, because I really like playing this game more. Um, I don't know. But anyways, though, see you guys next time. Of course, have a good rest of your day. And don't forget to steal yourselves. And also, Arby's has the meats. I don't know. I really just want to add it in there. See you guys.